I'm Victoria Mole from Contempo Coding, and I help coders pass their certification exams by taking complex topics and breaking them down into easy to understand concepts. Today, I wanna to tell you how you can get a truly random sample when you're doing a provider audit utilizing the RATSTAT software. The RATSTATS is a software that was developed by the OIG, and it's really helpful if you're looking for a truly random sample selection when you're doing an audit. You can find it on the OIG website right here. It'll come up on a quick Google search, and you can download it right here as one of the links for the 2010 version for Windows. And you just open up the zip file. and install your rat stats software. Once you have the software installed, you can just double click on the little rat icon on your desktop. So as you can see here, I have a spreadsheet and it's about 104 columns long. So if I wanted to take a random sampling of some of these cases, what I can do is I can go into my rat stats software and hit random numbers and single stage of random numbers. So in this case, I want to name my audit or review, maybe based off of the provider. So here our provider is Dr. Acula. So I'll title this Dr. Acula Review. And let's just say for the sake of this that I want five cases. And we also maybe want to take some spares. So in case something's wrong with those first five, we have some other cases we can fall back on and select. Like maybe there was a reimbursement done on that case, so we don't want to use that. It was just an error. So we'll pick another five spares. So this is our low number and our high number. The low number is going to be the first number in our spreadsheet that we want to incorporate for our selection. So in this case, this one is just our title, so we don't want to use that. We want to use two as our starting. And then our lowest number we want to use as the last row, which would be row 104. I like to output it to an Excel file so that I have it saved as far as which numbers are my random selection. So I'll just output it to a file name and we'll say rat stats sample. And that'll save it to this file in my documents folder. And once we've got our file name selected and we have our Excel file, we can hit continue. So and then it tells me that the array has been successfully transferred over to that document. So what I'll do next is I will exit out of my, my RATSTAT software and I will go into my documents file and find it. So here's my RATSTAT sample. And once we open that up in Excel, we can see here are the numbers that it's randomly selected for me. So this is in backwards order, but you can see it's telling me to pick rows 29, 49, 64, 73, and 99. What I like to do is I go through and then highlight those. So if I'm looking for row 29, I give it a good highlight, and then I'll go to row 49 and give that a good highlight. Now over here is where your spares are. There's another tab here on there that you can select. So if you need to go for those spares, just know that they're on this different tab in Excel. Another one that you can do if you have a really long spreadsheet is you could go ahead and maybe insert an extra column and go to row 29 and just put an X there. And that way, if you want to maybe set some filters up here, you could go ahead and set some filters based off of which ones have the X in it, meaning that you're going to audit them uh, versus the ones that do not have the X in it. So that's basically a summary of how the RATSTAT software works. It's a pretty easy and handy tool to make sure that you're really getting a truly random sample so that there's no accusations of, you know, that you're cherry picking cases or only going through things that are um, just look suspicious. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the really helpful coding and auditing videos that I'm going to be posting on YouTube.